Students, this is how you're going to do your molds. Here's your little mold that you've made, or these little molds that you've made in, um, with your little kits that Miss Peterson gave you. You also should have in your kit, you should have your strips of aluminum, food grade aluminum, and then you should have some little rubber bands like this. When you get ready to make the suckers, um, you are going to, before you even start making the suckers, because when you make the suckers, it sets up really fast. So you need to do this all before as prep work. So you're gonna take these little rubber bands and you're gonna stretch them on your fingers and put them over the bottom of the mold. Now that's not tight enough. We have to get it tight so that the stick will stay centered in the mold. And we also have to get it tight enough that the syrup, when you pour it into these little molds like this, will not seep out or it will misshape in and make your um, sucker smaller. So you're gonna have to turn, get your fingers in here, stretch it out, get your fingers in this little elastic and double do the elastic, you know, double um, tie the elastic. Then what you need to do is you need to split open the mold and it's a little tough because we've gotten it really tight. You're gonna split open the mold and you're gonna stick this like sucker stick in the mold. And you can sometimes you can do it easier going down this way and go into it. And then you're gonna center the stick in the center of this mold right here in the center. Because if you have it up too high this way or down too low, when you make your sucker, the stick's gonna be out of your sucker and the sucker will all be on this side and the stick will be sticking out. So you wanna center it in the center of this area right here. So then once you have it centered, you're gonna lay them down and you're gonna put your molds down on here. Now you will only have three or four molds with that aluminum that we gave you because we don't have enough aluminum to give you a lot of molds. This sucker recipe makes like 20 suckers this size. So you will have to pour some little round circle um, suckers with the rest of your sucker so get that ready you can either do it on the cookie sheet and just free form mold them like in a circle it will automatically run into a circle and with that you do it just like the videos that I've posted where you pour the circle and then you stick the sucker in it and push it down in or you can do it like she did in the video like this with the powdered sugar where you find something that has a flat bottom and you make the mold like she did in the video and then when you do that, you take the sucker sticks, you take the sucker sticks we've given you and you lay them in it after you pour it. So you have to get all this prep work done early or you can just do this and pour them free, free form and they'll make a little circle like the second video. After you get them um, poured, you need to spray the whole pan with Pam spray and the sucker molds or it's hard for the sucker molds to release. So once you've sprayed them, when you spray them like that, the spray gets inside the mold and then it's easy to release it after you make the suckers. So this is your prep work. You're gonna do either the powdered sugar or just the plain tray. This is a lot less mess. If you do the powdered sugar, you can use the powdered sugar afterwards. So you can go ahead and scoop up the powdered sugar and put it away, but that makes a big mess. So do it, I would do it this way if I were you. Okay, and now you're ready to make your suckers in your pan and do it just like the videos. And then when you're done, pour the suckers in the, pour the sucker syrup in the molds and let them harden up. And it gets really hot, so be careful not to burn yourself. Be really careful to pour it carefully and to, and to watch it carefully and do exactly what they did on the videos and you'll be just fine. It'll be perfect. Um, thanks.